Hey guys, I got a request by one of my Patreon subscribers. He wanted me to model some ski goggles. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Before we dive in, make sure to join my Discord server. We have an amazing community with a lot of skilled people that can help you. You can also subscribe to my Patreon for some exclusive content. Let's get started. Let's start by the glass part. Add a plane. In edit mode, scale on the x-axis to match the picture. Add two loop cuts with Ctrl R. Then add a subdivision surface modifier by pressing Ctrl 1 or 2. Add more edge loops to get a uniform geometry. Adjust the vertices to match the curvature, but do it only on one side. You can press O to enable proportional editing and change the radius with the scroll wheel. Add a mirror modifier and apply it. Press I to inset, then apply a subdivision surface modifier with one level. Select the outer border, E to extrude, S to scale, adjust the vertices to match the curvature. Add a mirror modifier and apply it. Add a loop cut like so. If you want to have an equal distance between the edges, select these edges like so. Right click, loop tools and choose space. Add a mirror modifier and apply it. Now let's bend the plane, add an empty. Select the plane. Add a simple deform modifier. Click on bend. Pick the empty as the origin. Click on the Z-axis and increase the angle to bend it. I'm going to put 90 degrees. Apply the simple deform modifier. The shape doesn't match anymore with the front view picture. So in edit mode, let's stretch it on the X-axis. Delete the MT. Select the plastic part. Extrude. Add some thickness. Let's adjust the shape of the nose area with the help of proportional editing. Right click, shade smooth, add two loop cuts. To separate the glass panel, add a seam and press L, then P and separate by selection. Add a solidify modifier to give it some thickness. Select the sharp edges, Ctrl B to bevel, P to set the shape to 1. Select the vertices, press M, merge by distance. Let's give the mask some thickness too. Select all the faces, E to extrude, Alt S to scale along the normals. Select the sharp edges and add a sharp bevel. If you have a small gap between the glass and the mask, select the outer faces of the glass with Alt Shift left click. Press Alt S to scale along the normals and the problem is fixed. Let's create the foam. Select the faces at the back of the mask. Shift D to duplicate. P to separate by selection. Add some thickness. It has to be thicker than the thickness of the mask. Press Alt S to scale along the normals. And remove the edges at the center. Add a large bevel to make the foam look more organic. Add 
I need to add some details onto the mask, so I need more geometry to work with. To do that, I'm going to apply a subdivision surface modifier. But first, let's crease the sharp edges with Shift E numpad 1. Duplicate the model, add a subdivision surface modifier with two levels of subdivision, apply it. Select the mask that was not subdivided, add some loop cuts to make the polygons even on one half of the model. Add a mirror modifier. Remove the creasing. Add a shrink wrap modifier and pick the high poly mesh as the target. Apply the modifier. Then apply a subdivision surface modifier with one level. I'm going to make the straps. Select these faces, I to inset. Extrude to make the hole. Press P, separate by selection. Put the 3D cursor into the hole. Extrude SX0 to flatten the faces. Delete half of the edges. Add some vertical loop cuts. Keep only two horizontal edge loops to get even polygons. Select all the faces, right click, subdivide. Press 7 on your numpad for the top view. Add a NURBS curve. In edit mode, select the first vertex, snap it to the 3D cursor with Shift S and drag your mouse upwards. Extrude the last vertex to make a smooth path. Select the strap, add a curve modifier. Pick the curve. Adjust the vertices of the curve to put the strap into the hole. Select the sharp edges. Add a bevel, press C to clamp the overlapping. Merge the vertices by distance. Add a mirror modifier to the mask to add the hole to the other side. Let's create that plastic object on the strap. I don't know how to call that part. If someone knows, please tell me in the comments. Add a plane, then add two loop cuts and a subdivision surface modifier. Bevel the edge at the center to add two loops. Apply a subdivision surface modifier with one level. Select the top vertex. Press O to enable proportional editing. Set it to sphere and move it downwards. Add a mirror modifier. Select these faces. Inset. Delete them. Add a mirror modifier. Add a solidify modifier or extrude the faces to add some thickness. Select the sharp edges. Add a bevel and a subdivision surface modifier. Put the 3D cursor at the end of the strap and snap this plastic piece to the 3D cursor. Scale it in edit mode to match the height of the strap. Keep extruding the curve to make it go through the two holes. If the strap is not long enough, disable the curve modifier and increase the length. Enable the modifier again and adjust the vertices of the curve to avoid the overlapping of the two objects. Duplicate the plastic object. 
Increase the length of the strap even more. It has to be attached to the second plastic object. If the strap is too long, just remove some polygons. Put the 3D cursor between the strap and the plastic object. Add a cylinder with 8 sides. And snap the top and the bottom faces to match the height of the strap. I to inset, right click, bridge. Add the same amount of horizontal edges on the cylinder. Press J to join the cylinder and the strap. Delete these faces. Select the two borders, right click, bridge. Press Shift N to flip the normals if you have some shading problems. Move this edge loop away from the cylinder to make the curvature more smooth. Select the cylinder and align it with one side of the plastic object. You can deform it, the hole has to be an ellipse. Add some edge loops inside the hole. And repeat the exact same process to make the second strap. I'm not going to show it twice. Now let's add some details on top of the mask. Press J to connect the vertices. Add some cuts. Add a mirror modifier. Select the vertices and merge them by distance. Press Shift R to repeat the latest command. Select these faces. Extrude downwards. Select the sharp edges. Add a bevel. Press J to connect the vertices. We have some triangles to turn into quads. So with Ctrl R, add some edge loops to make diamond polygons and press GG to slide the vertices along the edges and repeat on each area where there is a triangle. Add a mirror modifier to mirror the holes to the other side. That's it for this video. I hope that you learned something. If yes, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Thank you for watching. Take care.